Greetings Commanders and welcome to The Breach. Well it's another Christmas and World of Tanks console is offering us a free garage slot that's filled with a, a tank. To get the free tank all you have to do is log in and as you uh, enter the game it will give you the garage slot and the Blitzen tank for free. DVR trolled me and instead of recording the full five minutes it recorded the last three minutes so that's all that you've got of the map. And the first game it's uh, basically just Blitzens. I'm playing the match with the crew that came with the tank to show you what it's like as it comes out of the box so to speak. The second match I played I put a 100% crew in it just to see how it changes in handling. The Blitzen has a 5 shot auto loader and garish Christmas decorations. Each day running up to Christmas, World of Tanks is having a special one day operation. If you complete the operation, which is generally very simple, you get a, a nice reward. The first day it was a garage slot, the second day was 100% silver multiplier, and then there's a few XP boosters for your crew. And um, leading up to day seven, where you get uh, some repair kit, first aid kit, and manual fire extinguisher. And the more of these operations you do at Christmas, you'll actually get another reward depending on how many of the operations you completed. So it's uh, we don't know what that is yet, but I'm hoping it's going to be kind of nice. Feel free to tell me in the comment section below whether you're going to keep the uh, Blitzen or you're just going to sell it and enjoy the garage slot for another tank to add to your arsenal. Well, that wasn't a very stellar performance by myself there, but it was still enough to come top of the team, so no wonder we lost. This is a tier 5 match. Uh, I've got a 100% crew in it who do have 40% on camouflage but I still don't have any equipment fitted or anything like that. I just want to try out the tank and see how it compares once you've got 100% crew in it. The reload on 100% crew drops down to just over 13 seconds. You can see that the tank is fairly nippy and nimble for a tier 3 tank. After the Halloween Ops, where I got the Lycan, uh, I haven't been putting the time into World of Tanks at the moment because I just felt so burnt out after completing the Lycan, the Hammer and, and all those other operations to get the free tanks that uh, I've I'm, I'm not really got uh, my game face back on with uh, tanks yet but I'm hoping now that I've had a bit of a break to uh, get back to it and try and go and 3 mark another tank.
I'm not a fan of playing at low tiers, so I'm just going to let you watch the rest of this and see how the tank performs. It's not one of my great performances, but then I don't think the tanks were that good either. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the other side.